Hi there, doggone 12 of I here, here to explain the actual ending to the Stanley Parable. To those of you who don't know, if you um, have the Stanley Parable, you can try this if you haven't already. Um, if you um, disobey all of what the narrator says, and when you get to the phone, if you unplug the cord, you'll get this tutorial video, you'll go into uh, the uh, office again, but everything starts to deteriorate, which I will explain in a second. Um, and, you know, you'll get this ending, which I'm going to explain here now. Um, as for the reason, as for the deterioration of the office, it's because, well, first off, let's just talk about the game. The game itself is supposed to be linear, meaning you're not supposed to make a choice, or you're supposed to follow the author. By making all these choices, you break the game, and it starts to crash in on itself because it can't handle all these different choices that you're giving it. You're not Stanley. You're not who you're supposed to be. You're you, which is being you means you have the freedom of choice. Mm. When the author, when the game shuts itself, does like all these blackouts... Is trying to reset itself to fix itself. Or trying to fix itself. When the game resets and you're over the roof looking down at Stanley, there's a reason for this. First off, the game reset itself to whenever you first made your first choice. Now, you're probably asking if that's true, then why is he at the choice doorway? Shouldn't he have, like, been in his office? Well, the truth is, whenever you're in the office, there's no obvious choice. It's linear. You're following your way to the choice doors. Stanley is following a linear option because there are no choices. It's the only thing he can do. When the game reset, it eliminated all, all choice. There is no more choice to follow. It basically eradicated any way that you can make choice which got rid of the story almost itself for Stanley when Stanley himself was first introduced to choice he didn't know how to handle it and therefore he kinda just stood there in purgatory that's kinda what happened so by making all these choices you broke the game the game reset itself to where it eradicated any choice any use of choice and Basically, Stanley now sits in a purgatory, the author never finishes his story, and you're in the roof for some reason. But anyway, this is just a theory, but it's what I think happens. And personally, you can say what you think happens, but this is just my personal opinion. If you think it's true or not, comment down below, give a like. That's all I gotta say. Dog on 205 out.